I'd like to call the special meeting of the Hampton School Board to order. Ms. Bowers, will you call the roll? Mr. Harper? Here. Ms. Henry? Here. Mr. Kilgore? Here. Mr. Pearson? Here. Mr. Samuels? Present. Ms. Smith? Here. Ms. Mugler? Here. Let the record show that all of our school board members are uh, present for tonight's uh, special meeting. On behalf of the school board, I am uh, very excited to share that we are very close, in fact, moments away from finishing <laughs> uh, the important task of hiring our new superintendent. Uh, last November, Dr. Linda Shiflett, uh, who started teaching in Hampton in 1974, has been our leader for six years, announced her intent to retire, and uh, that will be at the end of this school year. In collaboration with the Virginia School Board Association, our school board uh, <clears throat> solicited feedback from our constituents in a survey, as well as five superintendent search public hearings. More than 1,200 stakeholders provided feedback to the school board, and by the end of January, the board compiled all of the data collected from our community and considered the feedback in establishing desired qualifications for our new superintendent. Our job posting profile reflected the public feedback, and throughout the month of February, uh, the school board accepted applications from interested candidates with diverse backgrounds from across the United States. Public input was continuously at the center of our selection process, uh, and questions posed to the candidates during the interviews were drawn from community concerns and input. And within the last um, month, the school board interviewed seven candidates before narrowing down to a group of two finalists. Uh, and while the interviews proceeded without uh, public spectacle, community members were seated at the interview table in the form of your elected school board members. Um, and public input gathered at the onset of this process was continuously considered and served as our reference point during our deliberations and in our decision. We are pleased to announce our selection of superintendent, and that is Dr. Jeffrey O. Smith, who is currently the superintendent of West Point Public Schools. Uh, he is here with us tonight. Um, Dr. Smith, will you please stand and, and be recognized? Dr. Smith has 25 years of experience in education, in education serving the past seven years as the superintendent in West Point Public Schools. And while superintendent in West Point, Dr. Smith was named the 2013 Region 3 Superintendent of the Year. Uh, also in 2013, West Point, his school division was the only division in Virginia that earned the Governor's VIP Award and one of three school divisions earning the Governor's Award again in 2014. In addition, his school division has earned recognition as a highly distinguished Title I school division for high achievement for three consecutive years in a row, 2013, 2014, and 2015. Also, under Dr. Smith's leadership, West Point High School earned the National Blue Ribbon Award in 2012. Uh, Dr. Smith previously served two years as the Assistant Superintendent for Academic Services in Newport News Public Schools, where he supervised all academic programs and services. He served four years as the Assistant Superintendent for Academic Services in Williamsburg, James City County Public Schools, and two years as Assistant uh, Superintendent of Instruction for Amelia Public Schools. Now, what I call a trifecta of experience, he has served as a principal at the elementary school level, an assistant principal at the middle school level, and taught English at the high school level. 
And this practical experience on every level, elementary, middle, and high school, certainly categorizes him as a very unique <coughs> leader in education. Dr. Smith earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in English education from Virginia Union University, a Master of Education degree in Education Administration and Supervision from Virginia Commonwealth University, and earned his doctorate in Educational Leadership, Policy Studies from Virginia Tech. He is married to Lori Ann Samuel Smith, who is also a public school educator, and they have two children. Their daughter, Lauren Ashley, is a student at Christopher Newport University, majoring in molecular and cellular biology, and their son, Joshua, is a junior and a member of the National Honor Society at West Point High School. Uh, we are very pleased that Dr. Smith and his family will be joining Hampton City Schools. Before asking Dr. Smith to come forward, I will entertain a motion to appoint. Madam Chair, I move to appoint Dr. Jeffrey Smith as the next superintendent for Hampton City Schools. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Pearson and seconded by Mrs. Smith that we appoint Dr. Jeffrey Smith as superintendent of Hampton City Schools. Is there any discussion? There being none, Ms. Bowers, will you call the vote? Mr. Harper? <clears throat> Aye. Ms. Henry? Aye. Mr. Kilgore? Aye. Mr. Pearson? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Mugler? Aye. Motion carries. And now I will entertain a motion to approve uh, the employment contract. Madam Chairman, I move the approval of item 3.02, the contract for our new Second. It's been moved by Mrs. Henry and seconded by Mr. Samuels that we adopt the employment contract of Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Is there any discussion? There being none, Ms. Bowers, will you call the vote? Ms. Henry? Aye. <clears throat> Mr. Kilgore? Aye. Mr. Pearson? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Mr. Harper? Aye. Ms. Mugler? Aye. Motion carries. Dr. Jeffrey Smith, welcome to Hampton City Schools. If you will please come forward and give your remarks. I think they'd like you to come here. Okay? <laughs> We're going to put you on stage right, right away. <laughs> oh, what a pleasure it is. And so I'm delighted to be here. Let me start by saying, Madam Chair and members of the school board, staff, students, and community members who are present, good evening to you. Uh, I'm honored and humbled by the opportunity to serve as the 21st superintendent of Hampton City Schools. Um, as we take this journey together, I'm keenly aware that we can accomplish together so much for our students, and I look forward to that opportunity. I stand before you this evening as one who believes and understands the power of our purpose. As we partner to build from places of strength, I am confident that we can actualize the school division's education, educational and programmatic thrust of ensuring academic excellence for every student each and every day. I recognize that Hampton City Schools is embraced by a supportive and collaborative community and that your accomplishments have been many, including recognition as one of the top ranked technology districts nationwide, the development of the first facility dedicated to early childhood education in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and that you have a very strong STEM program which affords students opportunities through a variety of, organiza of organizations, including NASA. So then, I say to you, let us build from these and other places of strength. This moment calls upon each of us to rise to places of common ground and to know that the future of our children has been placed on our shoulders. Let us use this time well. The weeks and the months that are ahead will certainly require of each of us that we not only find common ground, 
but that we will also have the opportunity to work hard to move forward with determination. It will take focus and fortitude, and I look forward to the journey. Perhaps the words of Henry Ford can serve as a challenge to each of us. He said this, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Let's work together. I look forward to the opportunity and thank you so very much as we move forward. Thank you. Dr. Smith, would you like to um, introduce your family with us tonight? <laughs> Put them on the spot. Let me ask, uh, that they would stand, and I'll start with my lovely wife, Lorianne, if you would stand, please. Our daughter, uh, Lauren Ashley. Our son, Joshua O'Neill. Thank you so very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Absolutely. Is there any more business to come before the body? I'd like to say one thing. Yes, sir. Philadelphia has their Dr. J. <laughs> now, Ham City Schools has their Dr. J. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Doc. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, Dr. Smith will be sworn in officially on July 15th, and uh, that will be at uh, the board's organizational meeting, and uh, we'll be having a proper reception for him at that time, and we hope that you all will come back and join us for that opportunity. Uh, if there's no further business to come before this body, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>